Hello everyone, welcome to Lover Rebel and welcome to a really, really good video uh, about BMW's 520D. Before I tell you more, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, share with friends and family and also check out the vape special that we have going on. So I've partnered with VG Master and they are giving away 30,000 rands worth of vape juice. All you need to do to qualify is buy any vape juice on their website using the discount code VG Liberable. Let's get on to this video and let's start by talking about the rear seats and front seats of the car. very very comfortable everything about the bmw 5 series for me is just so plush everything you touch and look at is of the finest quality you've even got a bit of a blind here at the back which you can put up like that you've got a little small one over here you can put up like that now you have more privacy and i mean this is a 520d um yes it's expensive but we'll get to the price uh, Harman Kardon speakers, so you got a murder engine and a tweet here. BMW always puts their subs under the speakers, so that uh, under the seats, so that's uh, over there. And then you've also got your rear drivers over here that I think they just create a more ambient type of sound. And my legroom here is excellent, excellent, excellent. That side as well. In the center console, right guys, I'm gonna run through this. You've got oh, cup holders, very sturdy cup holders, good god. Wow, that's nice. Is there something in the middle here, maybe? Mm, nope, but... Wow, these are very sturdy cup holders. Uh, baby seat belt tether. You've also got your isofix points over here. And climate control here, but not with a, a button that you can push to adjust the climate control. You've only got two zone climate control in this car. You've also got two USB-C ports and a lighter socket over there where you can plug in a vacuum cleaner or something storage here don't ask me what you'd put in there a pc there somewhere to hold some things in where you always lose your crunchy bars uh, storage here on the sides a very nice light bar over here but they're not touch control but they are you can put your reading lights on like that over there so let's move to the front before i climb in i want to show you guys something on the seat so do you see this button on the 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 button that you can adjust the back rest so you can go forward and backwards you can also do the top off of the seat with this little switch here so check this out look at that the whole top off of the seat can move there's obviously got lumbar support to this button adjust this, this uh, pulses over here you can also adjust this pocket over here out for your inner thigh support very nice let's climb in i want to show you guys more here i do have the, the seat set on setting number one so if i hold on number one it goes into my seat setting comfort again and yeah there we go i'm really comfy now in front of me you have bmw's individual steering wheel with nice brush aluminium here on the steering wheel itself you have a volume rocker uh, you can change music with this button over here you can adjust volume by just doing that on the screen so if i push menu again you see you can adjust volume with just turning your finger. Club controls are physical control, guys. When last have we seen bloody physical controls on cars nowadays? Everything is going digital. You've also got a, a cup holder space over here. With wireless charging, a USB type A port and two cup holders. Along with a cigarette lighter that's pushed in for some reason. So i just push it back again. Alright, there we go. And then you've got the iDrive controller, which I really like. That's why there's no fingerprint marks on the screen. I simply use the iDrive controller here in the middle to toggle through menus, to adjust things, to push shortcut for my maps. I like that. I like that it's a physical controller and I can also write on here my address. BMW's normal gear lever, which you guys have become accustomed to. Your driver control, sport, comfort, eco, and adaptive traction control is a physical button. Your camera button, this will show me obviously all around the car and auto hold and in the center I have space for my modem, another USB-C port 
and obviously a phenomenal phenomenal harmon card and sound system this one's also got a sunroof in so yeah back on the road and let's talk about some statistics with this car now that that is completed let's talk about the bmw 520d and why i think it is the most perfect car i've ever driven yes it's expensive it comes in at 1049 million rand um, it's a very expensive car. it's probably gonna cost you about 20k a month but if you can afford it this is what you're getting a unbelievable fuel consumption figure of 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers for this big heavy car 140 kilowatt and 400 newton meters of torque out of this two liter turbo diesel turbocharged engine two turbos one small one and one big one Auto 100 years 7.2 seconds and a top speed of 235 kilometers per hour i've currently done 845 kilometers on this car i still have 262 kilometers to go and it's only got a 66 liter fuel tank how it's so freaking efficient and the power isn't to be scoffed at i mean with four people in here you breathe on the throttle and it's got enough grunt to see to every hill and everything you need to climb over with this car then there's the comfort i want to obviously get into the road now to talk a bit more guys the comfort of this car is oof, 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 oof. i did a trip through, through claymont all the way through the different little passes into somerset west i am not going to lie it felt like I didn't even drive the journey. This car covered ground and felt so comfortable doing it. The suspension, the sound system, the way I sat, everything just oh, I, I, so comfortable and so efficient while doing that. Then there's the way the 5 Series looks. way this car looks i think the the design is done very tastefully the previous non facelift was also a handsome car but they've just kind of sharpened the car up give it a bit more nice angular angles narrowed out the headlights slimmed out the taillights and the final result is a car that looks really clean really modern and like almost like a business suit tailored like a business suit wow 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 bmw i am imagine a 5 series estate ladies and gentlemen imagine in game this is an in game car one of the most in game cars i have ever driven look i'm not saying the 530d is a bad car it's probably a really good car but from where i'm sitting you don't need more power the 20d is the sweet pick of the bunch if you can get it in this Imsport model in a funky color with the harmon card and sound and you maybe customize the interior a little my god do you have a car that will last you the next 10 12 years of your life you will not need to upgrade this is all the car you will ever need if you can afford it i know this doesn't sound funny you know but this reminds me a bit of toyota's corolla I know it's not an insult, please don't go commenting, it's not an insult. The Corolla for me was a car that shocked me, you can watch that video if you click the car on top now, that shocked me. It kind of made me feel very similar to this car. Think of the BMW 5 Series no? as a very expensive, much better Corolla. It's nothing that you can get excited, it's not an exciting car, it's not, a, it's not like an entertaining car, it's not a funky car, it's not a groovy car. But it does what that Corolla does, but 50 times better. And that's saying a lot. Like, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm ranting. I am just so in love with this car. It, it's changed the way I view non-performance vehicles. I want the 520D. I want this car more than a lot of you understand. Like, offer me a Mustang or a 520D. 520d 
offer me an M5 or 520D, 520D. The efficiency coupled with the comfort, coupled with the bold quality, coupled with just the experience of driving this car, the lusciousness, the softness, the... the oh, speechless. It, it really is a phenomenal vehicle. Wow. I'm taking it back by the 520D. I mean, it is one of the most rounded, well-rounded cars I've driven in a very long time. Again, my videos aren't as curated as other YouTubers out there. I speak more from like a passion front because as someone who's never thought that the driving such cars is possible, I am overwhelmed and I am very excited when I get to experience such cars because I just love it guys. I absolutely love it. I'm completely taken aback by this 520T. It has rewritten my brain on what can be possible with... Oh, can I make this turn here? Or was it a bad... No, it's not a bad idea, man. This turning circle also is really good. Oh yeah, no, it's perfectly fine really good let's put it into sport mode quickly and just do i've never to be honest i've never had this car in sport mode yet the suspension feels stuff already Eighty, hundred, one ten, one twenty. it's perfectly fine back into comfort because i don't want it in in the stuff setting i want the car to be soft and supple and comfortable and yeah i'm completely won over by the 520d i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you all enjoyed um the enthusiasm of this car it really has taken me aback and now i need to tell you guys why mercedes e-class isn't as good as this car because it's not the bowl quality is not there the ride quality is not there the looks for me is a miss on the facelift no bmw 5 series is the way to go if you can afford it and again what other cars audi a6 mm, a bit too businessy at least this car is a bit more fun than the a6 yeah 5 series in that lot of executive saloons 5 series wow what a car then there's the adaptive headlights oh my god these I, I i literally just spoke from a passion point of view of this video i couldn't be bothered with the statistics and all the comfort stuff and all the creature comfort stuff because i just want you guys to know what this car is like if you want a more detailed view i know doug them and car wow and all those guys do very detailed reviews but from if this video enticed your appetite for the 5 series definitely do more digging on youtube the opinions might mat not match mine but yeah and i don't have anything bad to say about this car i really do not have anything bad to say about it i'm just completely blown away but i think it is a brilliant brilliant vehicle thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe share with the family and I hope you're okay with me shouting at you for the last uh, few minutes. But I know you get, you guys know me and you guys like Liberty before the way I do things here on the channel. So, yeah. Next video is most likely a 2J or 1JZ car, which I haven't driven before. So, yeah. Be free for you. Liberty Rebel, out.